hey loves welcome back to another video so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can make your zobo drink for commercial purpose so if it sounds like what you're interested in please stick around so guys first things first i'm going to juice my pineapple because pineapple is one of the major ingredients you need for your zobo drink but if you don't want to use pineapple if you feel pineapple is so expensive at this time because pineapple is out of season now and you don't want to use pineapple i'll show you another thing you can use so you definitely want to keep on watching this video to the end so um if you don't have a juicer like this you can go with your blender to juice to to get your pineapple juice and then after you, have fi you finish blending then you can use your cheesecloth to sieve it out yeah it's going to serve the same peppers so this is my rough part of my pineapple after i'm done juicing so i'm not going to throw that away i'm going to use everything the juice the rough parts the back of the pineapple everything in the pineapple there is nothing that is going for waste yeah so um this is my abiscus plant abiscus flower that is my zobo that is going to serve for the main purpose of this drink yeah so um this uh, zobo like this you have to fit it or pick out the dirt because most times it comes with that so you will, that's what i'm doing there now i'm just trying to pick out the dirt and then i'm going to rest it and then put it in my pot before i add the rest things i need so guys i'm not doing this for long it's just a quick rinse and i'm adding it to my pot so don't be scared of doing this because you're not going to finish your zobo drink you're not going to finish the color and anything of sorts because see you can see sand eh? although this one i bought does not have lots of sand but there are some of these plants that have lots of sand like the ones i've been using before oh at the end of me um resting it like this the sand that comes out from it or the dirt is something that is so much so um i would advise you rest it don't keep it don't put it like that in your pot because we don't want to drink um something that is has so many particles with sand and all of those things yeah so i've added everything about my pineapple together and this is my preservative i'm using calcium propionate so you guys most people use sodium benzonate yeah so um sodium benzonate is good yeah but if you bake and you already have this calcium propionate you can still use it if you've already added sweeteners to your zobo drink artificial sweeteners it has already become carbonated drink and this a uh, calcium propionate can be used for carbonated drink you can use it for your they they use it as preservative for malt for cake for things like for soft drink your coca-cola and all of those soft drink yeah so you can also use this calcium propionate as your preservative for this zobo drink so long as it's for commercial purpose all right so you guys uh that that's my ginger um pounding now i didn't remove the back because i'm still going to sieve my drink so i didn't see the need to remove it i just pounded it and everything i bought that ginger 500 then the clove 500 then my viva um sweetener that's 200 yeah so guys my drink is ready it's time for me to sieve it and see don't make the mistake of leaving your plants that is your your abiscus flower plants the zobo itself in your drink like that to cool off before you sieve it don't make that mistake because the minute you do it's going to to be bitter when you are done 
sieve in your drink all right so sieve it as soon as you bring it out from the fire so i also have another video on where i show you guys how i did zobo drink for home made purpose so if you're interested on how to make your zobo drink for homemade home use you can check the video i'm going to leave it i'm going to leave the link at the top or at the description or at the end screen so just click on it and watch the video if you are interested to see how i make homemade for, uh, zobo so you guys i repeated this process for like three times yeah so don't do it like me like this because you're just going to finish your your gas or your kerosene whatever thing you're using to boil your drink <laughs> so i would suggest you get a very big pot if you use coal for as your means for cooking or you use firewood so you should get a very big pot and then use that to boil your drink because hey this process i repeated it like three times and i know how long it took so if you are going for commercial purpose just use a very big pot and then do it like that because it's this drink it's it's as in it comes out like even once will not be enough so you have to boil boil and boil so that you have lots of the juice so this one i'm boiling now is half basket and you can see the drink that is coming out it's so dark but if you are doing it for commercial purposes, you don't have to make it so dark like this you can boil it several times add lots of water to it and yeah it's going to still come out well so i'll suggest you use that big pot all right so um this one i'm doing like this now i'm going to drink it in my house <laughs> i don't say zubu but i decided to make this video for you guys because i know how to do it so i decided to share my experience as in my knowledge <laughs> with you guys so yeah so um you can make it lighter than this all right so i'm done sieving now i'm just going to squeeze out and then add the other last one to it so guys you can see how thick this is so thick even the one that is left over the one that i want to discard is still thick but <laughs> i got tired and i'm going to discard it anyway so to avoid wastage just use a big pot and then add plenty water and everything is going to come out from your zobo so guys next i'm going to add this my pineapple juice and when adding your juice please try as much as possible not to add it when the zobo drink is still very hot because we don't have to kill our vitamins present in our um pineapple juice all right so um i tried my best to make sure that the drink is cold enough so that i can still preserve the vitamins so you want to try to do the same so you guys i used viva as my sweetener and i'm using just one here because i was not able to get enough since where i was buying it got finished and i don't want to use lots of other brand if i want to use one i just go all around with that one i would advise you do same stop using different different things inside one particular drink go with just one all right so since i did not get enough i'm going to add sugar to it and when missing i suggest you take little from your drink and then put it on a separate bowl and then mix because if you don't do it like that when you just put it directly to the drink it's going to you're going to be seeing white white particles and yeah so i suggest you just put it on a separate place and when you are done missing then you can add it to it same with the preservative when you are missing with your, your preservative mix it separately and then make sure that the taste you are getting from the one on the separate bowl is the same with the one at the big bowl because doing so you will be able to um uh, must you'll be able to get the preservative right because if you don't do it like that it's going to be too much and yeah when people taste your drink it's going to be as if 
um the preservative in it is so much so it's better you first of all put it on a small bowl and then make sure that both uh, tastes are the same when you add a little you miss and then you test you miss and then you test make sure that everything is the same taste before you add it to your main drink all right so remember i told you guys that if you can't use pineapple as your sweetener pineapple juice for your sweetener then there is something else you can use and that is my viva sweetener right so um pineapple it has the flavor of pineapple and your foster clark um flavor so that foster clark pineapple flavor can give you that pineapple fragrance you want and also the viva has that sweetener of a pineapple so if you can't afford to buy pineapple if it's not pineapple season then you can use that all right so it's going to serve the purpose even without adding pineapple but you want to add the back of your pineapple so that it's going to um elevate <laughs> the taste of your drink all right so you can meet those um aboki that sells pineapple on the street you can beg them for the back because they have lots of it they don't do anything with it instead they just throw it away so you can ask them for for it and then use it when you are making your drink all right so you guys for canning your drink you don't have to use this bottle i'm using this bottle i'm using is so big i'm going to drink this drink in my house that's why i use this type of big bottle you know the drill now you just need to go and buy those small bottles those ones that when you use it it can you can be able to have um so many drink you understand so you don't have to use big ones like this there are other smaller sizes in the market when you want to can your zobo drink because this drink most people they want it to be cheap and they don't know that the ingredients that comes with it is expensive so um we have to be wise while dealing with our uh, with the business so you need to get those smaller uh bottles that will help you to be able to save enough don't use big cans like this i know you already know that but <laughs> i just feel i should chip that in yeah all right so um thank you so much for watching this video and if you if i've been able to help you in one or two ways please don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up for the algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one lots of kisses Mwah.